how can we use Excel formulae to quickly create this kind of column structure? Well, you can do that using the column formula. Just going to hit the tab key here, hit enter, and I can see if we've got the column number, we can then unleash the power of the mod formula. So what's the pattern here on the output sheet? Well, I can see we've got groups of three columns. It's critical. Let me show you what the mod formula does. So we point mod to a number and then we divide that number by a number of your choosing. We're going to use three because we've got column groupings of three. Let's go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to copy this across as well. Control R on the Windows PC. What do these numbers mean? Well, let's, let's go a bit further. Six divided by three, three fits into six twice. There's no remainder. This is what mod is giving us. It's giving us what are called the remainder. Seven, well, three goes into seven twice, giving us a remainder of one. So mod returns one. Three goes into eight twice, giving us a remainder of two. So mod returns two and three goes into nine three times with no remainder. So mod returns zero. This is the power of mod. Now we've got this column information. And the crucial idea to remember is we're using column groupings of three. That's why we're using three as our divisor. So how would we generate these system numbers, system one, system two, system three? In the first cell, I'm going to go ahead and type in a one. Then in the next cell, we're going to use the if formula here, because if something is happening in the cell above, I want Excel to do something. So let's go ahead and express that. Specifically, if the value in the cell above is one, what do we want to do? I want to plus one onto the system number. So I'm going to express that in the formula that if the value in this cell isn't one, what do I want to do? I just want to retain the previous number. So this is what our if formula is going to look like. And when I drag it across, you're going to see how it works with mod to get exactly what we want here. So once again, control R on the Windows PC. And we can see what's happening here. Once again, we've got groups of three, system one, system two, and then system three, reflecting exactly what we want on our output. But we need to do more, don't we? We don't just want a number one. We want to join it together or concatenate it together. Go ahead, equals, and then in speech marks, we want system and then a space because we want a space between the text and the number and then we're going to use the and sign with a text string, our text string being system, of course. So I can now just click on the cell. Seems to be working. Control R once again, system one, system two, system three. But there's more, isn't there? Because we don't want system to appear in every cell, but we can do that. The idea of every three cells, because we can use mod to do that. So if something is happening, we want to do something. If it's not happening, we don't want to do it. And in this case, if the mod formula is returning a value of one, that's the first column for that system. If it's not the first column for that system, what do we want? Well, we just want a blank cell by using two speech box there. Let's go ahead, hit enter, drag it across again. We're gradually building up, replicating the structure that we've got on our output sheet. As a bonus here, uppercase, well, we can go ahead and just put upper, just envelop, if you like, this formula in the upper formula, and that's going to convert the text into uppercase. Just makes it a little bit smarter, makes it stand out as a subheading. But what about this home, away, and total? So once again, let's look at the pattern. We've got groups of three columns with a different value in each column. Let's go ahead and type in switch here open the bracket and we can see what Excel is asking for. Excel is asking for an expression. So Excel is saying, which cell do you want me to look at? And then using the power of switch, we're going to convert the value in the cell to what we call a result, to another value. If mod is returning a value of one, what value do we want to convert that to? Or what text do we want to convert that to? We want to convert that to our home text, putting that in speech marks, of course. If the mod formula is returning a value of two, we want to convert that to a way. And as I'm working through this, my the prompts down here are really helping me. So use the prompts to help you there. And then a value of zero. So mod's not returning three, it's returning one, two, or zero. What do we want to convert that to? Comma. And I can see Excel is asking for the next part of the formula. We want to convert that to total. Let's go ahead, hit enter. 
and how is this looking? Going to hit control R and this is the structure we want. Let's go ahead and see just how powerful these formulae are. How many systems do you want to create? You could create 10. I'm going to go ahead. Can I create about 20 systems here? Control R on the Windows PC. We've got our text there, system 20, home away total. Now I'm going to convert these to values, control shift right and control shift down on the Windows PC. Control C, control Alt V and then V for values and enter. These are all values now, which means I can go ahead and delete all of our helper formulae. Alt H D R on the Windows PC, Alt H D C on the Windows PC. I don't need this column and we have our output. It's Chris here, and if you enjoyed this video, I've got a special treat for you. We've got a full one-hour session from our Members Monday community. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is sign up, put your email into the link below this video. We will email you some information about our fantastic Members Monday community, but it's absolutely free. It's a one-hour session. The link is in the video description below.